Hi, good morning everyone here. I'm live in central Jerusalem, the center of the whole world, as you can see right behind me. Over here, this is all, all the traffic coming in, right in the center place near the Tachanama Kazit. And what better place to continue this fantastic series on Kuf Yudbet of Mesachet Baba Kama over here. Nothing like walking in the land of Israel. Every Dalad Amot is a mitzvah, and especially at this time to be breathing the air of Jerusalem. And we're talking all about in these cases inside the Gemara here in the Talmud, within regards to as someone borrowing an item and not returning it. And we're talking about, we're talking, learning about what if someone would uh, consume an animal of someone else. Someone, someone uh, let's say, steals an animal of someone else and slaughters it, obviously in the kosher way, and then eats it. And was stolen. What, what, what a restitution will they have to pay? Which uh, compensation? So in today's page, the case is, friends, is that someone is going to uh, borrow an animal from someone else, just borrow it for some reason or another, then the person's going to die. The person dies here, but the animal is still in his possession. So the descendants of his who think that this was actually his, they don't know that it belongs to someone else, will actually, will, will uh, at this stage in time, will slaughter it in a kosher way and eat it, consume it. Will they have to pay restitution to the owner himself? Will they have to pay compensation over here? Because naturally it wasn't theirs. They thought it was theirs, but it really actually wasn't theirs over here. So what's the case, friends? So what we learn in today's stuff is that they will have to pay compensation to the real owner. This was done unintentionally, but they'll have to pay cons uh, uh, compensation to the real owner and would have to pay a bargain price of this item or two thirds of the value. They won't have to pay the full amount because they generally they thought that this was their item over here, that this belongs to there. So they would have to pay for the meat for, for this amount of uh, what it was worth, but the bargain amount, so say two thirds of the actual value itself, which naturally is a bargain, they'll have to pay. So everyone, it's a win-win situation in a way because the people that consumed it and benefited from it, they still have to pay for it, albeit a lower amount, because they probably wouldn't have uh, maybe used it. They would have returned it, obviously, if they'd known if it wasn't theirs. And on the other side, also, of the coin, the people that, uh, that, that lost it, at least they'll get some compensation for it. They'll still get some money from it. it hasn't, it's not totally uh, uh, the end of the world. So that's a very interesting uh, case here in today's page, here in Masechet Baba Kama, in page 112 friends over here. So I'll leave you all. Wish you a fantastic day. Take care and bye.